In this tutorial, you'll learn how to enter a running containers environment and execute commands within. Let's begin by listing the images available on our local machine. After that, we'll launch a container using the Alpine image that we pulled in the previous tutorial. To initiate the container, employ the podman run command, specifying the image name followed by its tag. Let's list the running containers using podman ps command. The list is empty. Let's list all containers using podman ps a command. We see the Alpine container is in exited state. To sustain the container's operation, we need a continuous long running process within it. We'll achieve this by initiating an Alpine container with a command for running an interactive shell. Command is podman run d it alpine colon latest slash bin slash sh, where hyphen d ensures the container runs in detached mode, and hyphen it specifies interactive mode with a terminal. The slash bin slash sh command initiates an interactive shell. With this, the Alpine container is now up and running. Now to enter inside the container using podman exec it, which is interactive mode, followed by container name, followed by shell which is slash bin slash sh. Now we are inside the container and also we can notice the command prompt is changed. We can run commands within container. To exit the container, simply use the exit command. Now that you know how to enter a container, you have the capability to navigate and manipulate container environments according to your requirements. Here is the summary of podman commands learned in this tutorial. Thanks for watching. Subscribe for more content.